Hola, good morning, marhaba, hello, and how? You are a bloody immigrant. You should not help other bloody immigrants come to our country. Let me just make it simple. You are also a bloody immigrant. No, no, no. I was born here and raised here. All my family was here. No, no, no. No one is from here or there. We are all bloody immigrants. I will give you some examples. Boris Johnson was born in the US and he now UK Prime Minister. He holds a couple of citizenships. So he's immigrant. Whatever he just gave up his US citizenship or no, that it doesn't matter. That's the question that I'm trying to answer. Prince Philip was from Greece. Uh, he, he is a bloody immigrant or no. And the list is growing and growing, growing. Prince Harry mar married to Meghan Merkel. She is not from the UK, never was born here. So, so he is married to a bloody immigrant. Even Nigel Farage, his wife is not British. She was not born in the UK. So he is married to a bloody immigrant. If you check the history of every one of us around you, whatever, if you have roots thousand years ago, or you just moved to a new country, all of us are bloody immigrants. Because we commute, we move, we explore opportunities. When you get a job opportunity in Dubai and stay there for 15 years, do you consider yourself a bloody immigrant or you an expat or just exploring opportunities? When you go to Spain for holiday, if you know, if you stayed in Spain now after Brexit, more than three months, you'll be considered not a bloody immigrant. You'll be considered an illegal immigrant. So the line is fine. Don't call anyone a bloody immigrant because we actually all <laughs> bloody immigrants. Thanks so much for watching. This is Muhammad Abashana. You can call me more. I'm happy to answer your questions. I'm talk about citizenships, moving borders, nomad lifestyle, and, and room, remote work. Appreciate the help and support. Take care, guys, and talk later. Bye-bye.